Let's go. All H's and J's. And there are a couple L's in here, but there is nothing. I've looked through it all. Two. Hey everybody, how you doing? Welcome back to Monkey Shine Lab. Um, such as it always is. Uh, always trying to change things up, always trying to keep things different for you. Uh, I have a couple of different subjects. and One of the things I really want to do today, one of the things I want to begin with, is to talk about Bluey. Now, um, Bluey is, for those who are unaware, Bluey is a cartoon character which originates in Australia. It is a kid's cartoon, as most things are. But it's really kind of a special one. And our, my wife and I have gotten kind of hooked on the imagery of it just in toy hunting, okay? You come across Bluey all the time, and especially because we've got grandkids ranging from, like, age uh, under one all the way up to... Uh, nine. So, um, you know, like we have kids that are in that, that target area, Bluey and Peppa Pig, and you're sitting here going, Cameron, why? What is the rant about, uh, Bluey? Okay. Well, 
My rant about Bluey is this. We haven't been able to see any of the cartoon here legitimately in America. Um, Bluey was purchased by uh, Disney. And uh, Disney purchased them after they won a couple of Australian Emmys and stuff and, and, and it had, been, had proved itself, okay? And by the third season, to cut this story as tightly as I can, by the third season, apparently, there was an episode which was objectionable to Disney's standards and practices at the time. That wording is important, okay? Because Disney has since um, brought R-rated material onto Disney+. Plus. So, first of all, um, their, their whole aim of keeping it absolutely family-oriented uh, down from, to the nth degree, they already broke that. But they banned Bluey in America because of a gag that happened in the beginning of the third season, apparently. And I should explain that Bluey... Uh, most of the characters on Bluey are uh, female, which is, we thought, to begin with, fantastic. Um, let's go ahead and knock out all sorts of stuff, starting at a base level, you know? Let's start kids on understanding that females can be strong characters, that women can be beautiful and be strong and not have to be you know, some sort of ball breaker about it. They're just strong people. The most powerful person, the strongest person that I know is a woman. Um, so we thought, you know, great, Bluey, let's, let's bring it into the house. The problem is, is that you can't get Bluey on disc here, not easily. Um, because Disney Plus bought it and they wanted to stream it. What did this thing do to transgress Disney's standards and practices? The episode concerned the father being confused with having farted. So it was like a sound from a chair or something, but the dad apparently farts and this is what the episode's focus is all about my grandkids know all about farts and they didn't learn it from bluey uh, my grandkids make fun of farts and they didn't learn it from australia all of our grandkids all of them this summer the month of july that we had them here were walking around and it was poop this and fart that. Okay? From one to nine, actually the nine-year-old Rick brained. She's, <laughs> she's got some polish to her and I'm proud, very proud of my granddaughter, Emily. But the little boys, as, as they do, this is, you know, like, if your kids have rode the bus to school, which doesn't happen much more, I, I understand, with COVID, but if your kids have a cell phone, if your kids talk to other children, they probably know a lot worse than a bodily function that we all commit. And this is why it's being retracted from an American audience, okay? I'm gonna kick the soapbox to the side on this because I just, you know, I've gone on and on about it for about seven minutes now. We have Charmin bears, animated bears on our TV talking about wiping bum. Uh, their catchphrase is, and I quote, enjoy the go. Tell me why it is we can't have a Bluey episode with a fart in it.
So just for that, here's a whole bunch of farts. There, that's for Bluey. All right, changing topic. I would like to give a quick welcome to everybody that is um, new to the channel. If you're coming in here from uh, watching a couple of the somewhat comedic shorts that I did. Um, unfortunately, that's not the way we operate around here all the time. We do try to keep things quick. We do try to keep, keep things funny, entertaining. One of the funny things is to see me try to do a transformer. So if you have actually watched that video and you see me throwing it down in anger and stuff, that was actually just very, that was really cathartic, uh, being able to do that because usually uh, with a fight between me and a transformer, I lose, I lose big. It's, it's always been that way. I've always admired the robots. I love the robots and I love the way that the engineering works. That's, that's one of the things that I always appreciate about a toy. I have an engineering brain. I don't always put it to good use, uh, historically, uh, you know, but, uh, I try, I try to at least keep it interesting. According to my wife, life is never dull. So anyway, what I would like to do is do this one. Uh, this morning when my wife was watching one of my videos, she laughed because I used my, uh, my opener knife on a pack of trading card game cards. And she just thought that was one of the funniest things she'd seen in a long time. Um, I plunged the blade into that one and it, I'm not going to lie, stabbing that box felt really good. Doing all that damage to the box felt great. And um, I always, by the way, you know, your box shot, I apologize. Um, I'm not doing things the way I ought to, but the, the robot we are doing here, the, um, the is uh, Barricade. He's, he is a um, Decepticon, but I liked this because it turns into this badass police car. So I don't know about the guns and all that garbage, but we're gonna, we're gonna maybe go for the police car part. Um, and the, the side art on these is just awesome. I mean, when they did this War for Cybertron set, they really set it out. Um, and I, by the way, these were picked up at Ross. Um, normally they're like, I think when I was looking at this series the other day at a box store, they're now charging about $23 or so for um, one of these bad boys, but I don't think, you know, pardon my judgment, but I don't think that this is a $23, $24 toy. Um, the engineering that goes into them, like I said, I respect it, but uh, good Lord, are you pushing that price? These are small, okay? They're, uh, I would not say they're, you know, worth that much money, but you know, they're licensed pieces of fun. Hey, find you later. Find you later. Find you later. We might just do this. I am not going to make the same mistake I made last time with these things trying to get them out of here. Um, if you saw, who was it that I did? Uh, sides, what? Not sides, what? That was the one that I threw all over the place. But I did one the other day <laughs> where I just, uh, I could not get this thing. Oh no, it was, 
<laughs> There's the Martian Manhunter. I couldn't get him out of the tray. <laughs> By the way, this is the reason why um, the this was sold at, to Ross, and so I picked I picked this up for um, what was it seven, uh, like seven ninety nine? I think these were. Um, now Ross is charging ten bucks for these. They're hot. They're getting haughty. Um, they're also following pricing that's going on in the country. That's just, you know, it is what it is. Okay, there's the there's the twin guns that um, you can stick in his hood or in his hands. And I I will probably um, I'm going to transform this right now because that's the amusing part is watching me try to do it. But um, I would love to leave this guy as a robot. I think that that just going over the face right now. And I'm a little coffee up, so my hands are shaky. Um, the uh, the detail on this is nice, and I've said this about the Cybertron, the War for Cybertron um, figures before. I like the battle damage that they put on them. Um, it, it it just kind of it's a it's a nice little extra to have some damage. Dry brush paint being worked in there and and it, it shows that they that they sort of care you know um but again i i feel that these are largely um you know licensed things and so that's where all the money comes from okay so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna throw this into high speed because it takes me forever to do one of these, so if I can even get it done on camera, I will. But I need to turn a fan on because I'm already sweating my ass off. It's really warm here today. Um, as I'm sure it is around the country with the rest of you, too. It's... <sighs> Climate change. It's a real thing. Anyway, let's see if I can get this done. I'm getting better at this stuff. If you go back through my uh, videos, you will find that there were times where I never even attempted the transformation of a transformer. Um, they are amazingly solid when you do them right. And my problem is, is that I've never really done them right. This one, this one I got. Um, so it gives me hope. It gives me hope that my nerding skills are not as old and rusty as I thought they were, because a lot of times the age marked on the box, that's a suggested age that if you're older than that, you shouldn't mess with it. I mean, ask Andre at first 117. That man is terrified of a transformer, which is why I like sending them to him from time to time. Um, anyway, uh, I, I really do dig the trans transformer stuff. I, I don't like putting guns on them outwardly because, um, if my grandkids are going to kind of see these, I'd almost like them to see like, you know, the generation one kind of thing where, um, bullets may fly t from time to time, but nobody really dies <laughs> because I'll tell you what. Those in the know of Transformers, if you go back to the Transformers movie, which came out in 1984, um, I was old enough at that point, 
sitting in that movie theater that it did not traumatize me. But a lot of people point to the Transformers movie in 1984 as a completely traumatizing experience for their childhood. Uh, and if you don't know about that, I, I'll let other people tell that story. There's some excellent uh, stuff. Toy Galaxy does a really good um, uh, expose on it. Anyway, let's get on to something different. EA Sports. One more thing that I, I wanted to cover really quick here today. And um, that's to say that um, I told you all about this a little while ago. Um, this is uh, the Banner Wars. This is a new uh, fight between the Hulk and Thor. Um, I did a whole thing about this um, on an episode a little while ago, but um, now I have the the rest of the um, issues so that I can go ahead and finish reading this. Um, I read the first one because I wanted to talk about it. Um, after I had read it, I, after I got into it a little bit, I, I realized how really sort of original the story was with one of Marvel's oldest rivalries. So um, the Hulk and Thor have been going at it for decades. If you're not hip to it, they've always had anything from a friendly rivalry to an I'm going to knock you out fight. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, this, this brings a different thing to the table. It, uh, and I wasn't, I wasn't convinced when I first picked up the issue and looked at the cover, but in talking to the good people over at Radar Toys, um, they pointed me in the right direction on this one. They do this for a lot of series for me. I think that they understand that it's a, I'm an easy push, you know? Um, but all of that aside and how easy it is to sell me a comic book, it's not so easy to sell me something that Marvel has been writing and rewriting and reissuing for my entire life. So when I got into it, I, I, I was like, okay, this is, this is actually an original way to look at this. Um, the Hulk is a spaceship and uh, Thor's hammer, Molnir, has been reconstituted with the power of Od Odin's soul in it. So Thor is always dealing with his father, still, <laughs> even after his father's death, spoiler alert, in this storyline, Odin takes one for the team and in doing so saves everybody's life. And, but his essence brings Molnir back together again and Thor now has arguments with his hammer, continuously arguing with his father's soul and his hammer. And the Hulk is a spaceship, which Banner is in command of, kind of like a mech, but the power cell for the spaceship is a different version of the Hulk who is constantly raging out and fighting stronger and stronger and stronger opponents. And this rage fuels the spaceship. So it's really three different hulks coming at Thor and his father who's in Molnir. It's a mess. It is an absolute like, oh wow, train wreck, fun, thing and I'm now going to get to go through the other uh, five issues it's a six issue run it's a start and finish but it is in both books lines Thor and the Hulk so if you go to your comic book store looking for these the first issue was its own thing okay the banner uh, banner wars banner of war 
And then the rest of it, you've got to go back and forth between, you know, let me get the glare off, between Thor and the Hulk. Back to Thor, back to the Hulk. Okay? Like I said, this is, it's fun. It is just a good time. And it's nice to know that in the printed medium, that the heroes are continuing to do imaginative things. Um, I'm, I'm grateful for what they're doing in the movies today, but comic book art form is probably one of the greatest forms of actual telepathy. You're getting a writer's and an artist's mind are creating something that they both conceive and then they can show you directly what's in their mind. That's, that's really a, how I've always felt about everything that's in print, even, even you know, stories, written, written word. Um, I feel like it's one of the greatest actual forms of telepathy that there is, being able to place an image in another person's mind. Like, me naked. Ha ha ha. You just thought about it. Yeah, you did. Yeah, you did. For a second, your mind at least went to me standing there in a barrel. Okay? Sandwich board over my sandwich. That's all I wanted to do today. I'm sure that's all you want to see. Uh, very much love to you all, and we will catch you all tomorrow. Take care.